Hi, I am Arun Mahadev. Welcome to Weekly Sports News. Let's go through the headlines first. Trivandrum women's team wins the state rugby championship for the seventh consecutive time. Malappuram victorious in men's championship. India's Tarab Jodh Singh Divya TS duo won gold at ISSF World Cup 10m air pistol mixed team event. In the finals, the pair defeated Serbians Damir Maikak and Saron Arnovic. Indian boxers shine in the IBA World Boxing Championship. Boxers Deebak, Usamuddin and Nishan win bronze for the nation. The final draw for AFC Asian Cup is held in Qatar. India drawn in Group B with Australia, Uzbekistan and Syria. News in details. Trivandrum Women's team defeated Trishur in finals to lift their 7th consecutive trophy in 7th rugby state championship held at Trivandrum. Scored 10-5. In men's final, Malappuram defeated Kodiko to lift the trophy. It was historic for the Trivandrum senior women's when they defeated the strong side of Trishur in finals held at Sai LNCP ground at Trivandrum. The hostess won the match with a clear margin of 5 points. Score 10-5. It was the 7th consecutive championship victory for the girls. My name is George. I'm the coach of the Trivandrum team. This is Sani Dash, women's team captain. This is Abhishek, men's team captain. We have a great deal with the men's team. We have a great deal with the men's team. We have a great deal with the women's team. We have a great deal with the women's team. Trivandrum team is a women's category champion. We have a great deal with the men's team. We have a great deal with the men's team. We have a great deal with the men's team. मैं गर्ल्स ने फाइनल में कुछ पारा नहीं किया बालरे नल्ले रिपोर्ट आटा मारे रहनु और इन मिशन यहाँ पेड़ चु त्रिशूल टीम यहाँ गड़ा गए ने इतना हमारे कप्पू कोण्डु बोगु में बंद पशे आदि ने इंडे कुटिकल इड़ा कोड इड़ा कोड तीला बालरे नन्ना ही कालकी यही यहाँ गड़े ट्रॉफी यहाँ गड़े ने तीरिच that's why I am the team. In the men's final, Malappuram defeated Kodikot in a tight match. The score was 10-5. We are now champions. We are now the junior team. Now, we are going to play the bronze medal. Now, next week, 24th, Kalev India. Next week, Kalev India is going to play. In Malappuram, there are 5 players. That's why Kodikot is going to play 3 players. That's why we are going to play the medal in the game. In junior team finals, Kollan defeated Kodikod while Kodikod defeated Trishur in men's and women's finals respectively. Kollan won with a score of 17-7 and Trishur won for 5-0. In the 10m air pistol mixed team event, Indian pair Divya TS and Sarab Jodh Singh won gold at International Shooting Sport Federation World Cup. The duo defeated the Serbian legends Damir Maikak and Sarona Arnovic in the final match, pulling off a nerve-wracking 16-14 win at Baku. Indian shooters Sarab Jodh Singh and Divya TS combined to win a gold medal in the 10m air pistol mixed team event at the ISS of World Cup 2023 for rifle and pistol shooters in Azerbaijan's capital Baku. The duo defeated veteran Serbian pair of Tokyo Olympic silver medalist Damir Maikak and former world champion Soron Arnovic 16-14 in a tense final. It was the first ever ISS of World Cup medal for Divya TS. Earlier, Sarab Jodh Singh scored 293 across three series in the qualification round while Divya TS managed 288 for a total score of 581. The goal by Sarab Jodh Singh and Divya TS was the second medal for India at the ongoing ISS of World Cup. Turkey's Simal Ilmaz and Ismail Kelis won bronze after getting the better of the Italian Sara Constantino and Paolo Manna 17-9. Indian boxers showed a tremendous performance to finish fourth in the medal tally at the IBA Men's Boxing World Championship held in Tashkent. Deepak Kumar, Nishan Dev and Mohammad Usamuddin finished their campaigns with bronze medals as they lost in the semi-finals. Indian boxers Deepak Kumar, Mohammad Usamuddin and Nishan Dev made the country proud by winning bronze medals at the IBA Men's World Boxing Championship 2023 held in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. With this, India concluded the tournament with three medals and ranked joint fourth in the medals tally. Deepak Kumar, a 2019 Asian silver medalist in the 51kg category, fought a tough semi-final against the two-time world bronze medalist Bilal Benama of France. Despite a cautious start, Deepak showed resilience and made a comeback in the second round before losing 3-4 in a closely contested bout. Nishan Dev, 71kg, who displayed an aggressive approach throughout the tournament, also lost 2-5 against the reigning Asian champion Aslambek Shimbarganov of Kazakhstan in a hard-fought match. Unfortunately, Usamuddin had to give a walkover in the quarterfinals due to a knee injury, settling for a bronze medal in his debut World Championship campaign. Deebak, Usamuddin and Nishan have made history by becoming three of the ten World Championship medalists from the country. This is also the first time India has won three medals at a single edition of the tournament. The Indian football team have been drawn alongside Australia, Uzbekistan and Syria in Group B of AFC Asian Cup final draw which was held in Qatar. 
the tournament which will take place in Qatar will commence from 2024 January. The Indian men's football team has been drawn in Group B alongside 2015 champions Australia, Uzbekistan and Syria for the AFC Asian Cup 2023 to be held in Qatar from January 12 to February 10 next year. The draw took place at Qatar Opera House in Doha, Qatar on Thursday where a total of 24 teams from 4 ports on to 4 were divided into 6 groups A to F of 4 teams each. The upcoming AFC Asian Cup 2023 will be the 18th edition of the prestigious football competition. India, on not on in the FIFA rankings, will be the lowest ranked side in Group B. Australia, who were impressive at the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar and lost to eventual champions Argentina 2-1 in the round of 16, are 29th in football rankings and the top team in the group. India will play their opening match against Australia on January 13th. Uzbekistan are world number 74, while India's best chance will be against Syria, who ranks at world number 90. Now it's time for Sports in Shorts. India will host the 10th Asian Women's Youth Handball Championship. This is the third time the nation is hosting the championship. The championship will be held from 15 to 24 July in Delhi. The competition will serve as the qualification event for World Championship to be held next year. The top 5 teams will get qualified for the Women's Youth Under-18 Handball World Championship. Commonwealth Games Silver Medalist Long Jumper Murali Srishankar and international badminton player Abarna Balan won the Kerala State Sports Council's G.V. Raja Award in Men's and Women's Categories respectively. Renowned football coach TK Chaturni will receive the Suresh Babu Memorial Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to the game of football. Swimming coach PS Vinod won the award for the best coach. In association with Gymnastic Association of Kerala, Lulumal Trivandrum is offering free trampoline gymnastic training for students. The 21 days training, which started last week, will end on 31st of this month. That's all for last week. See you next time with more sports news. This is me, Arun Mahade, in Weekend Sports News. Catch us every Monday. Don't miss the action.